If you're using a computer that you don't have administrative privileges on, you can't log in and install things, um, then the easiest thing to do, especially if you're using a Windows computer, is to come to portableapps.com, and I've already clicked on the Get Apps link, and it gives me a list of applications that you can in sort of-ish install on your computer without uh, needing administrative privileges. I'm just going to do a control F and GIMP and there it is. Um, so what it is is in the old days before Windows 98, before uh, Windows computers needed to be installed and have a registry and all that good stuff, you used to just have a folder. I'm just going to click through here and then start downloading it. Um, you used to have a folder that would just include all the executable files in itself. So Mac OS X really um, on Mac laptops is similar to this still, but Windows really wanted to have a registry where um, they could cross link things and it just gets really complicated. So this portable apps is sort of going back to the future, back to the old days where they're just going to give you um, an executable file. You can see the end of the name is exe, but really all it's going to do is unzip a file much like a regular zipped file would. And then if you want to run the program out of that zipped folder that you've created, um, then you can do that. So that's all this does. If you want to um, go ahead and once it's finished downloading, just go ahead and run that. It will um, unzip itself into whatever folder you're requesting. It will look sort of like an install-ish. The windows sort of look like that, but it will never ask you for um, permission to install because it's really not tying itself into win the Windows system at all. If you're ever wanting to um, then delete the file or delete the program, all you have to do is delete that folder. Um, there's nothing else to get rid of and then it's gone. So if that's the case, then feel free to do that now. I'm not going to do a full installation because I'm sure by the time the next version comes out, the installation will be slightly different. Um, I'm sure wait a week and it will change, but uh, you, I'm sure, can figure that out because installing is a fairly normal process. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or use my contact page.